So we have headlight. <laughs> What's up everybody, today on Cars and Cameras, we're reviving the fastest project we've ever built around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Behold, the Yard Dart. The Yard Dart is our unlimited class yard cart size vehicle. It's the overall size of a yard cart, so it'll fit in the backyard and trails very well, but it has full suspension and a powerful five-speed 190cc Zongzen engine. Uh, it is a really quick, really comfortable, very capable, tight handling go-kart. If there was a racing series with these, I would sign up because it drives great and it's a lot of fun. We parked it uh, almost a year ago because we had a phantom wiring issue. Uh, we would fire it up and it would only rev to maybe 2,500 RPM. It sounded like it had two-step. It was just not running right. We switched carburetors, we checked for spark, we checked timing. We checked for vacuum leaks, and we couldn't figure it out. So we've deemed that it's some kind of maybe ground issue in the wiring, so we're pulling all the wiring out, simplifying it, eliminating what we don't need, reinstalling to hopefully get our fastest go-kart ever running and riding around the Grand Prix again. So this was a universal wiring harness for like a Honda 70 or other kind of pit bike. So it comes with plugs like... Turn signals, brake lights, headlights, dashboard. We don't need any of that on the yard dart. So we're cutting it all out right now. We're gonna shorten it all. Hopefully reinstall it and have a good running go-kart. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we got a lot of our wires eliminated. Here's, here's some of them. There's uh, plenty more somewhere around here. Let's show off the new headlight switch. Okay, so we have headlights. We have ignition switch we have ignition Better. I think um, we have a fueling issue now. Uh, I think that didn't y'all raise the uh, the we needle and y'all yeah. lowered the needle, so y'all leaned it out. Yep. Yeah, we leaned it out. Well, doesn't it sound better? Sounds, Sounds better, better than me. it was. Yeah. It's two stepping at like seven thousand RPM now. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that could be a carburetor issue. So uh, we'll we'll tweak the alt uh, alternator <laughs> carburetor at this point. And hopefully we're going to wind up with something nice. But I'm going to eliminate some more of these wires and tape things up and make it look nice. Sweet. So we're getting pretty close to uh, taking the yard dart out for a ride. we got to do some tuning on it. Uh, but the only way we're going to tune it is to drive it. So we've got these Go Power wheels that we're going to be installing on the front of the yard dart with the 15-inch cleated tires. Uh, of course, you can... Get these wheels and tires from Go Power Sports. We are going to leave links in the description of what exactly we've got here. All right, so we're going to be taking these six inch split rims and we're going to be installing a tire on them. And we're going to need a tube because these are not going to be tube, tubeless tires. Uh, I like to put a little bit of air in the tube first. Probably, honestly, the easiest thing to do is to put the tube in first that's and then put air in it. That's exactly, <laughs> I did the same thing for the other one. Uh, but I'll get it. Are you Just sure? Gonna, yeah. Okay. I got this. So, new lesson. Put the tube in before putting air in it. You don't want to put too much air in it because you don't want the tube to be so big you can't put the split rims on. So... There's one side right there. I'm going to be adding our 
one inch spacer. And those are optional. You can get them to be, I think, either five inches wide or six inches wide with the optional spacer. It's pretty cool. And the spacer fits in there. It's like spacer Legos. fits in there. Uh, sometimes the tubes don't fit quite right. So if that's the case where the tube is like overlapping the inside part of the rim where it's going to pinch if you put it together, I like to take a piece of paper. I like to rip it right there and I feed it in between the tube and the rim. And this keeps the tube from getting pinched and uh, prematurely failing. What's, uh, what's going on there? Nothing. Oh, I, did start, I did start like five minutes before him, so. And John helped me, so. But these wheels are great, man. Now they've got the bearings in there, look at them. All I need is air, but I'm, I'm too tempted to just try and put them on there. We learned something else, too. You should probably uh, put the rims together before the tires and tubes and put them on your project to make sure they fit. Apparently, with the one inch spacers, we don't have enough spindle. Yep. So that Charles just figured that out. So I'm going to be installing the two halves. Without yeah. the optional spacer. Without the optional spacer, because it doesn't fit. So Ike got the tire installed on the wheel, or the wheel installed on the tire, however you want to say it. And they turned out great. These Go Power wheels are really cool. They sell them as floaters, or they have uh, keyed ones for like an axle if you want it to be a drive wheel. Uh, if you're looking for like a reproduction wheel for your vintage go kart or mini bike, these are probably the best in the business. Uh, like the genuine old school uh, mini bike wheels and tires can be really expensive and they can be fragile. So you don't want to go send in your vehicle with really, really expensive rare wheels. So the Go Power wheels are probably. A good uh, a good option for that vintage look but brand new quality and uh, you can buy more if you happen to break one it won't cost you an arm and a leg so we're gonna get these installed and uh, go on our test drive just working on this bearing here we go looks pretty cool I really like that look man and you don't want to go too tight on these because we don't have a spacer in between these bearings. So you're really relying on the uh, the nylon and the lock nut. So you want to still be able to spin freely so you're not putting the bearings in a bind. Looks good? Yep. Let's hit the track, boys. Let's do it. So the yard dart is ready to go. Ike is going to be kind of doing the test and tuning to see how it's running.
<laughs> Come on, jump! I'm coming, buddy. <laughs> well, that was fun, dude. Uh, this is a sweet go kart, isn't we it? We got an oil fun. leak. Oil huh? leak. Oh boy. Really? You know how they always run the best right before they blow up? Oh goodness. What is that? That's crankcase oh. oil. Okay. Oh, from the crankcase. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's okay. So, uh, probably a great time to change the oil at it uh, since we're at it. Okay. Because it's been a while. But yeah. let's uh, read that uh, spark plug, shall we? Right. Yeah. So basically, we're going to check the spark plug. Ike did a wide open run and turned the ignition off. So, ah, yep. it's so hot. So basically, if the spark plug is lean, that means at wide open throttle, it's lean. Yeah. Ooh, it's cooking my fingers, dude. Yeah. It's a good way to check the spark plug is you go just wide open, and right when you go to shut it off, don't even let it idle. You just shut it off immediately, like I did, and I coasted into the garage, and this is what we got. So, so my question then is like, but then don't you still get a bunch of fuel from the carburetor coming on, even though you shut the ignition off? Um, on deceleration i mean it just happened so fast uh i mean i pushed in the clutch and and immediately shut it off yeah she's lean check it out oh wow that's lean so you see how it's like brown around the ring can you hurry up my fingers are burning uh, and there's a discoloration on the tip so it's it got too hot that's that's a lean that's a lean mixture <laughs> So we're going to fatten it up a little bit. A lot, actually. I think we could build a Yard Dart 2.0 and then maybe sell the plans online because, like, even this 1.0 is such a good design. Like, everybody needs one of these things. Pretty awesome. Like, it drives so good. It's really fast. It's literally the best of a yard cart, and it doesn't break your spine. It was so smooth. It's the better version of that. <laughs> Who built that? <laughs> God. Well, more complicated, more expensive, no Absolutely. doubt. But, yeah. Well, we just fattened up the carburetor. I'm going to take this thing out for another ride. Man, this thing absolutely rips. I love it. All right, Charles. Contact. <laughs> So, uh, it's not fixed. It's not fixed. In fact, it kind of felt like it was slower. It was worse. Tell you the truth. Um, I'm not sure if I like this carburetor. I think we ought to go back with the carburetor that was on it, that we were running before we had all these issues because it felt way better. Sounds good. So we've been doing a lot of tuning on the 190 on the yard dart, and it's not perfect, but it's just as good as it was when we set the fastest ever Cars and Cameras Grand Prix lap time. Uh, I'm gonna sit in it, just kinda demonstrate the yard dart for you all, and uh, I think me and Charles are gonna give it a shot to try to re-break the Grand Prix record. It is cold out there, it's a little muddy. We might just be playing around. I, th okay. I think you just renamed that thing Toby Keith. Because you said, I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good as I'll ever be. Nice. <laughs> that was a good one.
a close one. Fill this thing up with our favorite Sunoco 95 octane Optima, specifically made for equipment that can sit, like go karts, Whoop. lawnmowers. Oh, I think it's full, bud. <laughs> yeah, it's full. So you can probably hear that the yard dart is still not running 100%, right? But we're still going to give it a shot with some hot laps. We do have a bit of an understeering problem, just the tire size on the front compared to the tire size on the rear. It's just gonna lead to understeer if you try to do donuts, but uh, turn in is spectacular. Uh, it's really a tight handling go-kart. So let's get lined up and do a hot lap. Make sure I'm in gear. Yep. Yep. On your mark, get set, go! one of our fastest go-karts uh, on the property uh, it's it's pretty wicked I, I I'm not good at driving it otherwise I'd be out there as well but here comes John I got to get the stopwatch ready Whoop, I think he's ready to go in I think you got a little bit wet. So you heard, it just wasn't running right. We need to continue to try to diagnose this thing, but it did run a 57 second lap, which puts it easily in the top 10. That's, I mean, the Grave Ninja 650 ran a 57. So I hate that we got defeated by the 190. This is a, it's an awesome engine. The chassis is so great. The turn in is great on this go-kart. We just can't figure out this problem. We played with the jetting, we swapped carburetors, we checked valve lash, we uh, replaced the uh, stator, we checked the ignition timing, we replaced the CDI, we even simplified the wiring and checked all the wiring plugs, and we can't seem to figure it out. But honestly, my 190 Trail 70, the uh, Zongzen 190 that I bought with the same batch as this engine, has a similar problem. It uh, it drives great at medium load. Uh, if you put it under heavy load, it does that similar buh, 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 buh. So could have been a bad batch of an engine. I just would hope that we would have been able to diagnose it with the amount of time we put in. So if, uh, if you have any experience with, this Z, with these ZS190 engines and you think you have an idea what's going on, let us know down in the comments. We really want to put the yard dart up against our DIY shifter cart, but with the way it's running right now, I don't think it's gonna happen. So let us know in the comments, help us out. You can also help us out by leaving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. That's a good way to really uh, help this video get seen by more people. Share the yard cart love. And also share this video with your friends and family if you uh, think they'd get a kick out of it. Uh, this is basically a dingo with suspension. So if you have a dingo or a friend has a dingo that wants suspension, you could take a lot of design elements from the yard dart here. So. Oh well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We built the yard cart. Uh, Your hair is kind of wild right now. Really? Right? Okay. Yeah. We built the yard cart as a. Didn't make it. I don't bit. know how to fix it. <laughs> There's not. I need a haircut like a month ago. <laughs> That's a good one to put at the end. Yeah. <laughs>